Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trisha here. I'm making another um, soft speed card using my new Gather Together bundle. Um, now we've already stamped and cut out using the new style dies. Uh, some of these images. So what I'm doing is I've got this soft speed card base, and I've got a piece of mossy metal here that I want to stick down. And I'm just going to make a quick card. So, an earlier video, you, you would have seen this card made. Absolutely beautiful. Love this set. I just lo absolutely love autumn. Um, I don't love the fact that Christmas is just around the corner when autumn arrives, though. Because then I start to panic like hell. It's quite expensive these days to um, oops, try and keep up with everything when you've got two young kids really is a struggle but I'm quite lucky because my kids um, they don't over ask of anything right now um, what I'm going to use on this card is um, I think I'll use some of this ok I think that'll look nice or I can use my new um, braided linen trim so I shall see. Right, but what I want to do is make sure my card's the right way because the last card it was um, all cut wrong. So I want a piece of cardstock. I'm just quickly cutting um, an inside sheet for my, the inside of my card. So that's going to be four by five and five eighths, I think, if I measured right. Yep, that's spot on, so I'll set that to the side. Okay, and what I want to do in here is I want to stamp some images um, with this um, large stamp. Keep forgetting what it is. I'll need to look it up. I must look it up. Right, and I'm going to stamp that in the pumpkin pie. There are other shades that you could use. Gatefight Grove, there's a uh, Calypso Coral that's kind of autumn colours I want this to pop so what I'm going to do um, is I'm simply going to stamp that there and then I am going to stamp off to get two colours from the one ink ok so if I close that then now And what I want to do is I want to do some stamping, not stamping, punching with my punches that I have. I think I'll use the pretty label punch. Okay, so I need a piece of very vanilla for stamping on. And then I think I shall use a piece of the pumpkin, pardon me, pumpkin pie um, and also have a piece of what is this now? I can't remember what colour is that? Is that mango melody? I think that's a bit too yellow. Right, anyway what I want to do is I want to put a sentiment on there and I want to cut this in Pardon me, cut this in half and um, I'm going to cut it in half this way though and I'll stick it on the edges. Now the sentiment I want to use is a season of thanks and I am going to stamp this in Mossy Meadow. Great colour combos for this set. So, Season of Thanks goes in there like so, isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, I want to use also this um, little stamp, which is, I don't know what it is, it's just little dots. It's like little seeds or something. Um, and I think I shall add a teeny bit of... Um, I think I'll add a tiny bit of soft suede actually, so it pops with that card base which is soft suede. Ok, 
Okay, so let me ink that up. And what oh, is my scrap paper? So I don't want to dirty my. Let me see how that's going to go. Oops, I just sat my ink on my other ink. What's silly sausage? No, don't like that. I've got it covered in ink. I'm going to have to start again. Look at that. What a Egypt. That's a sign that you've got too much on your um, desk. Ah, not going well today, my crafting. So I'm just using my stamping spritz and wiping that off. I'm going to put that away in a second. Right, so. Try again. Try again. Lucky I have lots of scrap. So, put that out of the way. I'm not liking my messy desk at the minute. Right, so let's just get that out of the way. Get our card front out of the way. Right, and stamp again. So, what were we doing? We were doing Season of Thanks. I'm just going to put that right in the middle. And that's all that it needs. And I'm not going to touch it again, promise. Okay. Let's big stamp away. Smashing. So, what I want to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of glue to each end of this. And I have cut out the pumpkin pie one. And I'm just going to stagger it ever so slightly. Just to give it a tiny, tiny, tiny little border. I think my fingers aren't working, I do apologise. Like so. And if you try and make sure it's as equal as possible each side. Look at the colour of my hands. So there it's there. You can see the little bit of border. Right, now, I'm finished with that. So let's put the ink away before I do any more damage. I'm going to pop this down on the matte layer of Mossy Meadow. Da, da, da. I've been crafting like crazy recently. I've been feeling really good about my crafting. Right, now, this is going to stand up um, on dimensionals. So if I get two of those, and I only need two because I do um, want to add some things underneath. Now, what I'm going to do is add some ribbon there and there and pop that on the top. So what I need is some, I need some um, double-sided tape. I would have used the roller tape but I've ran out. So I'm just going to pop that there. Like so, I use my pick tool, pop it off. Try and pop it off anyway. Make sure it's adhered properly. There we go. Easy peasy. So, let me just gauge this a little bit. So that needs to go like so. Da -da -da -da. See how when you just make it up? And that can go like that. Then this is simply popping on the top to give it a little bit of contrast. Gorgeous. If you have time, burn those little edges with a, a, a lighter or something because it could get quite jaggy when they're rough. Right, now all I need to do is add in um, some of my leaves. So I'm going to go for the little one in here. I'm just going to pop him down with Tombow glue. This one's going to go in there with Tombow glue. And these aren't being adhered um, 3D dimensional because the I'm going to add something else. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in these little pumpkins and I will put them on a dimensional. So this little guy is going to go here. 
he's just going to tuck right in like so. And this one, it's going to tuck just over. Or should I put him under as well? Yeah, put him there. And there is another gorgeous card. Now, if I quickly get my Wink of Stella out. <laughs> and I have not squeezed this in days. But you can see how moist it is. And how much glitter actually comes out. Just from the, the nib itself. Absolutely stunning. Now the reason I only use two little bits of that is because this is one of my favourite ribbons. And I'm nearly out I'm afraid. So I'm being... Mingy with it, but nobody would notice. Absolutely stunning. Now I'm going to add the sentiment up the top. Season of thanks. Um, I'm going to start wishing you well because we haven't used that one today. Now because these are like blah, 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 move around, um, pop it down, and then pick it up. Now I am going to use the mossy meadow. Again, because I want to coordinate it with the other ink. It's down here. Right. So, wishing you well. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Now for the inside. Where is my inside? Here it is. Luckily I moved it out of the way. I'm going to adhere that in straight away and then I'm going to stamp on it. So, an eighth of an inch. Oh, good, my coordination's pants today. There we go. An eighth of an inch. See, it nearly sat that in my ink. What am I like? What am I like? Now, I think I shall use soft suede in here. And the reason I'm going to use the soft suede is because. I want to stamp the corn, this little guy here, which is stunning. Okay, and I'm just going to simply pop him in the corner like that. And again, stamp on, stamp off. And you're getting the two, sorry, I was off camera there. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I want to add the pumpkin too. So I'm just going to add him up here in the corner, like that. Maybe that was too much, but it doesn't matter. And sentiment I am going to use is gather together. And I will stamp that in a different colour because I think autumnal ones really do need a mix and match of colour. There we go. Nothing wrong with them being all the same colour, but... Right, how are we for time? 13 minutes. I don't like to um, overrun too much for you guys because apparently people only watch the first four minutes of a video. I do it myself, I watch a wee bit and then I fast forward to the end. <laughs> but that doesn't help with views. Um, so if you've got the time to watch it all, please do um, stick with me to the end at least. Right, so I've got everything everywhere. But ladies and gentlemen, there is my Gather Together card. Absolutely stunning. And here's one I made earlier. Love this set, love it, love it. Any questions, as always, just ask. Um, and I, I look forward to your comments. Take care, guys. Bye.